Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yay, so it has been a while. Yeah, and I'm launching something that pretty much everyone I think has been waiting for or at least wanting to see is the engines for the Jewel 15 Explorer. Yeah, so I have just been unbelievably just distraught and out of there and yeah so I'm, I'm just gonna save the apologies for now and show you guys what I've created as far as the engines and everything are concerned it's not exactly to the textbook what I wanted but there really was no honestly logical or even good way of setting this up without it being like probably more than 150 parts. I had plans on having like somewhere around 70 engines and I had to kind of scale things back just a tiny tiny bit. I'm a little upset but you know there's not really much else I could do about it and I'm pretty much just gonna roll with it as it is and just keep my fingers crossed. Now the one thing I will say is there might be a slight change of design once we get into orbit or, you know, later on. It, once once everything gets connected up, I should say. There might be a slight chance that I might change something around or just do something in general. But it's been a pain in the butt just to get this all figured out. And I will say, the geometry in this game, as far as, like, working with angles and all that stuff... Yeah, not so fun. Not, not, not so fun at all. I... I really have to emphasize that it really wasn't an easy process putting the, this engine portion together by any means. I, I really, really wish it would have been a lot easier, but it took me a long time just to even get this all set up the way I wanted it, uh, just the way I wanted it, and th there's way much, way, 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 way too many things I could tell you guys about as far as design is concerned, but the one thing I will say is I'm not going to do a video based on how I set this up or built it, only because it took me a very long time just to figure out the angles and make sure the angles are all correct, because some of the stuff in this game is a little wonky, and, the, and setting up angles is the part where it gets a little wonky, and you have to kind of just do it by eye, almost, which wasn't fun by any means so we are getting this thing into orbit and hopefully just hopefully we can get it all docked up and everything I had a few slight problems with getting it docked up and everything else but I don't think it was too bad I, I tried earlier before this video just to make sure that everything works and docking was a bit of a challenge, that's all I can say. And I think it might have to do with the fact that I just haven't docked anything, like, of this size in a very, very long time. So, yeah, so I, I plan on doing some new stuff with my modded. The one thing I will say is I did not update it yet, so we are still on the last version, which is .23. So, for those of you watching far, far off into the future. This is not a very recent version of Kerbal Space Program. And, uh, you know, I've just been really trying to, uh... I, the, my main concern mostly with the... Whoa, that is... Not right. Um... Oh, God. There we go. Get rid of these explosions. Um... Wow. Yeah, we'll just keep this here for a second. Come on, stabilize. Stabilize. And... Actually, I think we can do this right now. That that would be pretty awesome. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to fire up these guys, and I got a slight change of plans, which I'm going to just kind of take all this fuel. We don't really need it. And we don't need this stage. It was more of a placeholder than anything. I really didn't need all of that stage. Really, it was just kind of worthless in the first place to have it, but there's no other way to launch it other than that way, so we got a whole boatload of free fuel. But, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much where it goes with that. I, I really just didn't even need that. 
that stage. So we're going to decouple that and probably activate the engine. Let's see. All right. So see you later. Yep. See you later. Bye-bye. So, wow, this thing really doesn't have that great a control. At least as far as I remember, I thought I had a little bit better control than this. I think it's because Kerbin's in the camera. Yeah, there we go. So, I, I, I gotta say that this texture pack, um, the fixer thing, whatever somebody sent me, it really do hasn't helped so much. I mean, it, I have noticed, like, slightly that it has done some stuff to it, but I really can't say that it's done a lot. But, yeah, that, that, that's where it kind of lies with that. But back to what I was saying before, is I do have some new plans for stuff. I was thinking about building, like, some kind of a another space station or some really just massive space station or something in orbit around Kerbin, possibly. I, I don't know as far as where I'm going to go with that. Because my Duna missions, I do enjoy, while I do enjoy them, the when you build really big stuff... It's just not very fun using it. Um, you know, the, for this is an, a great example. It will work, and it will work once it's attached to the ship and everything else, and everything's all set up, and where we, you know, have plans of going somewhere. But you know, some of the burns might be 45 minutes. So you know, it's like, okay, I'll set this, and then I'll go fold some clothes and do a whole bunch of stuff that I really don't really care for doing in the first place, but yeah, it, it, you know, I remember one of my burns I, I did was, I think it was to Duna or to Jewel, I ended up folding clothes and washing dishes and taking a shower, and you know, about an hour went by and finally it was done, and it's just, when it gets to that point, you're like, okay, so if anything screwed up, this whole mission screwed but you know what, 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 what can you do you know so you know I, I have been very uh, pretty much dead on my channel for the last week which a lot of you guys have noticed and I, I mean I'm still gaming gaining subscribers which I'm still happy about and to all you new people welcome and you know I, I really can't help but to keep apologizing for it, but there's really nothing I can do, and it's kind of out of my control, at least for right now. And, um, you know, I plan on picking up again, it's just a matter of when. And in, in, in the time is, you know, whenever. So, I don't want to constantly say this on every single video, because I'm sure a lot of people are getting a little bit bored with hearing it, so, you know, that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it at that. So if anyone has any complaints about it, I understand completely, but there's really nothing I can do. So anyways, guys, I will see you once we get very, very close to our ship.
guys. Yeah, so I don't know how long this is going to take me to dock, but I'm going to try my best and, uh, you know, really hope that everything just lines up ever so perfectly. But you can see right now, <laughs> we have this massive, just absolutely massive ship. I, I really don't know how I did all of this, but I'm going to try to switch over to Chase Cam and just I'm going to work my way, and I don't know if I'm going to speed all of this up or not, because this is going to take me a very, very long time to get this all lined up and just make sure that everything is just absolutely freaking perfect, which probably isn't going to happen, but uh, one can hope. That's all I can say. So, anyways, once again, I will see you once we get docked up, hopefully. And it looks like we got a dot, guys. You think after that many tries, I would have already had it, you know? Well, at least, yeah, I already do have it. But yeah, you know, you think it would after I, w I would have gotten it like way, way earlier than that. So let's try to turn this thing. It's probably not going to work very well. Holy crap, guys! We do have. Well, let me just 
quick save this here right now. That, that, that's just amazing. So yeah, guys, we got our mega ship here, and I think I'm about to do a test fire on it just to test out the engines and all that other good stuff. The only thing we got to detach is this little centerpiece right here because uh, we don't need that whole thing. That's just not even worth it, but we'll get that off here in just a second. There we go. I uh, yeah, get rid of all of that fuel. And, uh, you know, we'll probably take the RCS, too. But, let's see. I'm, I'm just going to get this thing all set up, and then we'll do our little test burn. So, just give me another little minute. Sorry about that. Alright, so let's start our test fire. Now, the one thing I will mention, I don't really have any xenon gas, so these xenon engines will not fire up. So, I probably... I, I could have swore I launched with some Xenon. I guess I ended up getting rid of a whole bunch of it just for weight issues and whatever. But So let, let's just do our little test burn here. Now the one thing I do have to mention, at least for right now... What is this doing here? The one thing I do have to mention, at least for right now, is that... Um, this thing is going to consume just huge amounts of power at least for right now, and that mostly has to do with the fact that I do not have my reactors 100% online, so you can see it's or consuming 7,000 power explosion. Oh, it must have hit. That, that's, that's awesome. But we, we definitely need to get some Xenon in here because I would really love to test out the rest of these engines, but for right now, this is what we can get. Um, once I get some Xenon in, I will show you guys everything else, but that shouldn't be too much. So anyways, guys, we have completed our ship. I'll turn the lights on, too. You know, I, I did put some blue lights inside here, and our frame rate is like zero right now, but my god, this is awesome. So anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time.